Let's go to Georgia for an All-American at a powerful girls program. Located west of Atlanta in Powder Springs, Georgia, McEachern High School has one of the area's best girls basketball programs. Taya Cooper knows all about it. She's been starting since her freshman year, and the team has won two state titles since then. Three years ago, despite the fact that McEachern had five other players who would go on to play in college, Taya was still able to play a big role as a freshman. Her freshman year, she was basically our point guard, starting point guard. Um, and she wasn't as much of a scorer then as she is now because we had Dominique Wilson, who is now at North Carolina State, Patches Roberts, who is at UGA, and Destiny Williams, who is at the University of Southern California. You know, so we had those girls who could score. So Taya pretty much ran the show, um, distributed the ball, uh, played good defense. She was a leader on the court, and she just ran things on the court, pretty much like a quarterback of the team. She didn't really focus so much on scoring, even though she, I think she may have averaged maybe nine or ten points or more that season. It was double figures. Um, but her main concern was just to distribute the ball and get the ball across half court. I grew up playing with them, so when I was in sixth grade, I was playing with 17 and under. They just pushed me and they motivated me, so they wanted me to play up there and they did everything to get me to be up there. So we all worked hard together. So when I got on the team, it was just like a normal day. Taya's game and her role have evolved since then. She's now the star player and leading scorer for McEachern. I'm aggressive. I really like defense. I think defense brings offense. I like to be a leader on the court. I feel like a point guard is like another coach. I'm vocal. She put in enough hours as if she has a job. She has been in the gym on some days, eight and 10 hours, and you don't find girls that will do that. Taya works out at one in the morning, six in the morning, five in the morning, nine and 10, 11 o'clock at night. That work ethic extends beyond the basketball court as Taya has become an honor roll student. I got student of the month three times this year. She's a great student. I looked at her, her transcript yesterday and sent it to Tennessee. Her sophomore and junior year, she has just taken off and has all A's and B's. Taya likes to surround herself with people who are competitive and successful. One of her closest friends is a player we met a few years ago, Diamond DeShields, the daughter of former Major League Baseball player Delino DeShields. Diamond attended nearby Norcross High School and was the National Player of the Year in 2013. We became friends. She came over to my house to train one day. We always had this little love-hate relationship. Like, we would just argue all the time, like, just for fun. We just got really close over, like, the last few years. She is my only best friend, actually. They're very close. Um, she's pretty much wherever you see Taya, you see Diamond or vice versa. That's a, a, a great, you know, friendship or union. When you find somebody on the same level as you are, she tried to surround herself with the great talent. From Norcross, Diamond went on to the University of North Carolina, and that's where Taya was verbally committed at one point. Taya committed to North Carolina before she even played a high school game, but she decided to reopen the recruiting process to explore her options a little more. After weighing several offers from major programs, she is now signed with Tennessee. It's really great. Um, even when she had verbally committed to North Carolina as eighth grader, she kind of decommitted this year. Um, she wasn't getting recruited by all the other big players, so she had to go through that to see if this was she really wanted. She still wanted to go to North Carolina, and she realized that Tennessee was a better fit. Uh, the, their, their style of play, the up-tempo of the game, and the coach, the way she coached, it kind of get her back. You know, she just leave me and go right into another program, which is kind of like our program, except on a bigger scale than ours. I just felt like Tennessee was everything I was looking for. I was looking for a coach that was just passionate about her job and was real motivated about winning and getting players better. And I seen Tennessee doing that with a lot of great players. And I really like the team. I like the campus. I like the whole, all their facilities. I just liked everything up there. I like the feeling I got. I really like the way they open the game, the fire and like, the way they open the game is amazing. Um, their fan support is crazy. And it just so happens that Taya will see a familiar face when she gets to Knoxville. Diamond transferred from North Carolina to Tennessee, and she'll be eligible to play alongside Taya next season. And if things go as well in college as they have in high school, Taya may keep playing basketball for quite a while. I would love to play in the WNBA and all that stuff. So that's one of my goals, but um, I really want to win a college national championship. Taya can go as far as she want to go. I can see her in, in uh, WNBA one day because she's just that talented. Um, she can play with those girls and, 
and do well. I mean, a matter of fact, she scrimmaged against them some in the summertime. Just played with them, and and she held her own. So she's gonna she's gonna go far. College is not the end for her. She's gonna play in WNBA.